Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the new Fenty Cream Bronzers and Blushes. Fenty has always been a brand that with every release I know there is going to be something available for my super fair skin. So when I saw that these were being released, I was so freaking excited. For the bronzer, I got the shade Butter Biscuit, and for the blush, I got the shade Strawberry Drip. So if you're interested to hear my thoughts and review and also see a demo, then just keep on watching. So the bronzer comes in seven shades. As I said, I picked up Butter Biscuit, which is the second shade. The first shade called Amber is actually a contouring shade. So when you look at it in the pen, you'll see that it is very cool toned and quite gray. In all the reviews I've watched, I've seen a lot of people kind of questioning the gray cool undertone, but if you're super, super fair like me, it is literally the most perfect shade for contouring. So if you want a cream contour, then definitely go ahead and pick up that shade. But if you want to warm up the skin and bronze, then Butter Biscuit is the shade to go for. So the cream bronzer comes with 5.23 grams of product or 0.22 ounces and it retails for 50 Australian dollars or 32 US dollars. The blush comes in 10 shades and it comes with 3 grams of product or 0.10 ounces. It retails for 33 Australian dollars or 20 US dollars. The blush shades are really vibrant and quite bold when you're looking at them online, but when you go ahead and flick through the images of the product applied on the model, you can see that they do have quite a sheer application. So I went for the shade Strawberry Drip, although it looks really like a bright pink, I knew that looking at the model, it would look really nice sheared out on the skin. Okay, so let's swatch both these products. Now I do have my foundation and concealer on, but I haven't powdered anything yet. When I first tried the cream products, I had powdered under my eyes, but I found where my cheek products met up with the powder, it was kind of getting patchy. So now what I do is apply the cream cheek products and then go ahead and lightly powder under the eyes afterwards. So with the bronzer, I'm going to take this sculpting brush by Real Techniques. As you can see, it's cut on an angle, so it's going to fit really nicely in the contours of the face. So I like to just dip into the product and then go ahead and start stippling on my cheek. I start closest to the hairline with most of the product and then slowly blend it out down towards my cheek. I haven't really played around with cream bronzers, so I don't have anything to really compare it with, but my thoughts so far are that it's not an overly greasy formula. It's a really nice blendable cream that leaves quite a sheen to the skin. As you can see, if I move my head like this, it's got a bit of a glow. I also like that you've got a bit of time to work with it and blend it out. Once you put it on the skin, it doesn't dry down straight away. So you do have that time to blend it out where you need it. I like to keep stippling all the way down onto my cheek. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'll take that slightly up into my hairline. What I like about using this angled brush, as I said before, it does fit really nicely into the contours of the cheek here. So I'm not going to take the bronzer too low. And then what I like to do is get my sponge that I use for my foundation and concealer. I don't put any extra product on it. And I just like to lightly tap around the edges just to kind of soften any harsh lines. Now I've seen the shade of Butter Biscuit work for a variety of fair to light skin tones. If you are as fair as me or even fairer, this will work for you. I do quite like the shade. It's got a nice amount of warmth to it, but it's still slightly on the cooler side that it's going to work for someone as fair as me and not look really orange. I do like to go a bit heavy with my bronzer. So if you're new to cream bronzing or bronzing in general and you're super fair, then just go in with a tiny bit. And as I said, it does build up. So you can slowly get it to where you're comfortable with. 
Now with the blush, if you have watched any other reviews, I'm sure you've heard everyone mention the size. So when I was buying these, I didn't go through the description and look at the sizes. I just assumed they would be the same size as the powder products. And I also didn't even take notice of the price difference between the blush and the bronzer. So when it arrived and it was <laughs> this tiny, I was a little bit shocked, but hey, that's cool. For blending this one, I like to use this Kabuki style brush. It is literally a $10 brush from Kmart. When using cream products, you want to use a brush that's more of a Kabuki style that has a bit denser bristles. A brush like this that you would use for your powder products just isn't going to work. You need synthetic bristles because they work best for creams and liquids. So with the blush, I just like to lightly go in on the bristles, it looks super pigmented, which can be quite scary. So I just like to lightly, very lightly, tap this onto the cheeks. So even though it looks quite bold when it's first on the brush, it is quite a sheer product. And being so fair, I do like to have quite a lot of blush because I feel like it just brings that life back to my complexion. So I do have to build this up quite a bit. I did try blending it out with a sponge and I found that it was just a bit too sheer and I wasn't getting as much pigment as I wanted. And again, I'm going to go in with my sponge with no product on it and just tap around the edges where I've gone a little bit ham or if there are any harsh lines that need blending. Now with the blush size, I'm kind of in two minds. I like the fact that it's so small because the colors are very bold and vibrant. So at least you're only buying a small amount of product in case it doesn't work out. But on the other side, as I said, because it is sheer and I like to build up my blush, I am going to go through it probably quicker than I normally would with a powder blush. But I guess I'll just have to keep using it and see how fast I actually go through it. Just like the bronzer, I find that the blush is super creamy and blends out easily. It's buildable and it leaves quite a nice finish on the skin. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of a sheen and I love that because it just gives a really nice healthy glow. Now that the cheek products are applied, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the under eyes by applying some powder. If you do want the creams to be more long lasting, you can go ahead with a bit of translucent powder and give your face a light dusting to kind of lock the products in place but putting on powder is going to take away a bit of that shine from the product. So what I've been doing when I wear these products is powdering under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my chin, because these are the areas that I do tend to get oily in. So I'm going to set those in place, but I'm not going to put any powder on my cheeks. So I've just turned the lighting down and zoomed you in so you can get a good look. And this is what the products looked like with my makeup finished. I did apply two highlighters by Fenty. I've got the Kilowatt highlighter and then I topped it off with how many carrots? All right, so overall, I absolutely loved the bronzer and would 100% recommend it. I really like the shade, and as I said, I've seen it work well on a variety of fair to light skin tones. It blends and builds really easily, and it does have good lasting power. If you wanted it to last even longer, you could set it with a little bit of powder. And as for the blush, although I did enjoy the formula, I just don't think it's the best value for money. If you're after a unique blush shade or you just really want to try out the Fenty creams, then go for it. But if you're after value for money, if you're from Australia, there is this cream blush by Savvy that's available from Priceline for around $5 and it works just as well as the Fenty one. So for me personally, I would rather go for something like the Savvy blush that I can dip into on a daily basis and I know it's better value for money. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching or found this helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. If cream products aren't really your thing, then I do have a review on the Fenty Powder Bronzer that I will link in the description box below, along with all of my other Fenty reviews. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take around and consider subscribing. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.